What's up guys? So this is ukulele tutorial 112. Okay, stay tuned because at the end of this we have some serious announcements that are pretty awesome. Um but this is gonna be Gabe Bondock's brand new song called Nothing More. Uh it's a great song, so go check it out if you haven't. I'll put the link down below. Uh also it's a very difficult song. So if you're really new, this is going to be really hard for you to play. Not saying you can't do it, but it's just going to be really hard. So just know ahead of time that you're going to get frustrated. Because there's a lot of chords in here I don't know the names of. I know how to play them, but I don't know the names of them. So we're going to be using like a little bit different verbiage as far as the actual names of the chords. Okay, I just kind of made it up for the sake of explaining. It just makes it that much easier. Okay. Um, let's move this down a little bit. You guys can see this sweet shirt I have called The Hamper. I'm going to talk about that a little bit after the video, so I want you guys to stay tuned for that for sure. Okay. Um, going through just the chords alone, uh, the one thing I don't know, there's a little picking rift he does. It's a few notes. I don't know that. Um, so whoever does figure that out, please post it if you can figure that out. Uh, as far as the initial part that he does at the beginning, all you're playing is the, the fifth fret. You bar the bottom two strings. Slide up to the seventh and back, and then you play on the fifth, uh, fifth fret on the second string, and then the fourth fret on the third string, and you slide the same thing. So going into the chords, okay. This chord is going to be called X, and I know I'm wrong on these names. Uh, so if someone does know the correct names, feel free to post it. But for the sake of teaching you, it's irrelevant what I call them as long as I call them something. Okay. So X, you're going to bar the second fret, bottom string of the fourth. Y, which is the second chord played in the majority of the song, you're gonna bar keep this the second fret is gonna be barred a lot of the song, just so you guys know. Okay, you're gonna bar you're gonna try and bar knuckle your finger, your middle finger on the middle strings, the two middle strings on the third fret. Okay, and then you're gonna put your pinky out here on the bottom string of the fifth. Okay, so that's Y. So X, Y then the third chord is just barring the second fret. I'm just calling it bar. It's probably a B minor, but bar for the sake of this. Bar. And I'm going to call this A-ish. A-ish. You're playing the second... Sorry. You're playing the third string on the first fret. That's it. So it's like an A, but you take that top string off. Okay? And that's the first progression. So... Okay? I'll go over the strum here in a little bit as well, but um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play that X again, and then the next chord is gonna be C add nine, bottom string of the second fret. I know it's probably called some other stuff too, but it's a C add nine as well. Uh, and then you're gonna play an L, the L chord, um, which I don't know what it's called, but it's basically you're playing the bottom two strings of the second and the top two of the fourth. So what I do is I keep the second fret barred, and I just put these two fingers up here on the fourth fret. Okay, and then, so I'm kind of flipping back and forth with the notepad thing I have up so that I can make sure I'm saying everything right. Um, and then you're going to also play uh, a mini, which is what I'm calling, which is the bottom three strings on the second fret. So you're not playing this top string. So it sounds kind of like that. Okay, and then uh, the one last chord is a Z. Okay, you're gonna bar the second fret and you're gonna play the third string on the third fret. Catch okay. on is the chorus. Okay, or yeah, like the chorus, the end of the chorus. Okay, this is gonna be a T for the sake of this argument. Make sure you guys can see this. Barring the second fret, I mean, second, seventh fret, and then the bottom string on the ninth. And then you're gonna play the S chord, uh, what I do is I bar the bottom two strings on the third, and then the third string on the fourth fret, and then the bottom string on the fifth fret. And then you play that A-ish. So if you guys go to the airport, you can think of it, it's easy to remember, it's T-S-A-ish, which is like airport security, I think, right? Anyway, let's, let's talk about the strum. The strum is either down, mute, mute, up. Mute, mute, down, mute, mute, up, mute, mute. Okay, so it sounds like this.
Okay, but it's a little bit faster. It sounds like this. Okay, but it's just a down mute mute up mute mute down mute mute up mute mute. Okay, and then uh, he does like a. It's like a down and with the pause a pit down a pit. Okay, so it's like down. Okay, those are pretty much the only two strums. Don't get hung up on the strum because it's not really that important. It's more the progression of the actual chords uh, and like transitioning between chords that really makes this song. This song is not like a strum focus kind of song, so don't get too worried about it. For the verse, what I'm going to teach you, progression, it goes this uh, X, X, Y, Y, bar, bar, A-ish. Okay, and what he does is he plays that two times through before he even starts the lyrics. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna play it four times through total. So you play it twice with the lyrics. So one, da 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 da. Okay, so the, da, I'm, I don't know, I can't do this and like sing at the same time, but pretend I'm doing the lyrics. Okay, second time through with the lyrics. Okay, and then once you go through that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch your strums to that down a pit strum. Okay, so you're gonna play that X, C add nine, to the L, to the Z. Okay, and then you play the TSA one, the the chorus the uh, chorus one. So after that, okay, so I'll play through that one more time because that's basically the whole progression for the whole song. So. Um, once you switch and you play this X, C add 9, to the L, to the Z, okay, uh, so that's what you're going to play for the verses, okay, that exact progression, so you're going to go four times through on this, dun, 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 dun. four times through on that. And you're gonna go one time through on this. C at nine, L, X, or sorry, L, Z. And you're gonna go down here, S, A. Oh, I did that in the wrong way. T, S, A. And then it goes to da na na da na na. And you go to, and you go back into it. Okay, so it goes back into the chorus again. So that's repeated for the second chorus as well. Same thing. Okay, and then once it goes to the, please say I do, uh, there's no more, more that I ask from you, that whole part, please say I do. What you're going to do is you're going to play this X, uh, and then you're going to play the Z, then you're going to play the mini, and then you're going to play the A-ish. So it goes like this. play that twice through and then you play like the second half of the verse again so you play this X C at 9 L uh, Z and then you go T S A ish again okay so that's for the the like chorus chunk of it if you will um, and then it plays the verse again, which is what I just showed you. Chorus again, which is what I just showed you. Okay, now the bridge. Um, the bridge, what you're going to play, I don't actually know if I said this chord, but I think I did. It's a, I'm going to call it a D minor-ish. Because it's like a D minor. Slide it up two frets, and then put your pinky down here on the fifth. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to play this for four counts. Four, and then you're going to play the A minor-ish, or the A-ish, for two. And then you're going to play this Z for two. And then you play it again. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Okay, and then what you're going to do on that last time through, I believe it goes four times through. Um, you can, I mean, you can watch it and you can tell. But, uh, and then at the end, what he does is he goes back to this D minor-ish. And then he's going to switch it up, and it's like you switch basically your middle finger and your pointer finger. So that it's like a it's like a F sharp minor, like a backwards G. So these top three strings 
or like a triangle shape, okay? And you keep that pinky on the bottom fifth fret, but it's like a triangle shape, okay? Okay, and then you go back into the chorus. C I nine to the L L to the Z. Okay, and that's really that's the entire song right there. I know it's probably confusing watching this. It took me a while to actually learn this because the chords are all kind of weird. But feel free to ask questions below and hopefully I can answer them. I'm gonna try and write it out as best as I can in the description. So watch it over a few times. I apologize that I don't know the names of those chords, uh, but I just watched it by ear and by watching what his hands were doing. Um, so I'll write it down. So watch it through a few times, really look at the chords and try and, and, and mess with it, you know, and get used to it. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, get, get used to the timing and all that good stuff, okay? One thing he's doing is when he, right at the end of that chorus thing, right before he does, that thing he plays the the X chord but he plays it like one really fast you know what I'm saying he, he plays it like just one hit down really fast so if you hear that in the song that's what the chord is <clears throat> all right guys another thing I want to touch on is this awesome shirt the hamper world changers <coughs> Los Angeles California all right uh, I, I want to talk about this here for a minute so you know, even if you've watched the tutorial, please listen right here for one second, okay? So thehamper.org, I'm going to post a link to the website down below. Uh, what it is, is it's a website. One of my friends has started up with one of his buddies, um, and they're raising money for all different kinds of charities. What you do if you go on the website, you check it out. Uh, they're selling t-shirts and sweatshirts, basically merchandise um, with different logos. The logos, I don't know if logo is the right word, the, the design, the design of the shirt changes on a weekly basis, Okay. Uh, so for depending on whatever charity for that week span that is picked uh, to raise money for, the shirts are designed specifically for that week. So each week, the charity that they're helping raise money for and awareness for is changing as well as the designs for the shirt. So if, if I got a shirt last week, say, and then next week, like after that week is passed, that shirt is like done. You can't get it anymore. So it really gives you that incentive to get if it's an organization that you're interested in, you really want to help and raise money for it. It gives it that uniqueness, you know. Um, so really go in and do a little bit of, you know, checking it out on yourself. Uh, the, it's uh, linked below here and it has the description on the website of kind of how it works and all that and kind of give you a better idea of it. You can check out the shirts and all kind of good stuff and see the organizations uh, that they're working with. Uh, so I really encourage you to just go and check it out just to raise awareness and, and raise some money for, you know, for different causes that you know need money and need awareness uh, if you have any questions on it by all means you know send a comment down here below um, or shoot me a message on Facebook or on the YouTube page or whatever uh, you know and I'll get back to you about it but uh, the shirts are also American Apparel which is really it's like a really soft comfortable shirt and they're already pre shrunk they're you know great quality t-shirts um, and sweatshirts as well so I'm going to be talking about them here uh, in the next few videos uh, if you guys keep hearing about them. So uh, let me know uh, if you guys got questions on this, on this tutorial. Uh, but please go and check them out. Comment, rate, subscribe. I do these to help you guys out. So help me out. Hit that like button down below. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, if you guys got questions on this, I know it's a more difficult. So difficult tutorial. Go ahead and, and ask them below. I'll try and get to them as best I can. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.